All right, here we go, 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 go. Go in there, Joe, go in there, Joe. What's going on, friends? How are you guys doing today? Ooh, we may actually have a fall day today. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Y'all ready for me? You want me to quit talking to the cog squad and feed you guys a little snack this morning? Huh? Y'all come on get a little snack. What's up, Cheryl? Y'all come on get a little snack this morning. There you guys go. Hello, that's the female baby right there. Hey, Tommy. What's going on, Tommy? Ursula, Goat, Emma Jean. Good morning, everybody. As I was saying is, is it may actually be a fall day today. Look, there's the entire peacock gang. Y'all, Scott has started to start calling, I guess cause his tail's coming back. He thinks he can start courting the ladies. Huh, is that what it is, buddy? Is that what it is? I see 64. Yeah, everybody this morning. Miss Lewis, Ozella, I see the whole entire game this morning. Hey, Timmy, what's up, buddy? Let me get you some scratch, too. Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous day today. The sun's shining, and it looks like we may be in the low 70s for the next couple of days, and only low in the upper 40s maybe low 50s which is great got some things i really need to do around here there you go tim hey greg there you go buddy have a little scratch let's go check yeah i hear you rhonda i hear you rhonda let's check y'all's big feeder your main feeder this morning real quick what's it look like girl Oh, it's pretty full. We'll top it off though while I'm over here. Good morning, Felix. All right. Now, you guys are set up this morning. Got your little morning snack and your feet are full. Yeah. What's up, Corny? Y'all just look, I wanna show y'all Scott's tail. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Gosh, it's so beautiful, Scott, when it's coming in. It is. Good morning, Loki. It really is redneck. All right. Let's go check on the totem pole and see how it's holding up, right? A lot of y'all are going, man, I don't think that totem pole is gonna make it. Moody's a big boy. Let's go check. This is um, actually installed that this weekend, so it's uh, been several days. Y'all look, it's still standing. What's up, Nugget? Long system. Gosh. <laughs> they hold up to their name, don't they? The alarm system. <laughs> Good morning, Moody. Now look, look guys. Look, I wanna show you guys something. Do y'all notice anything? Now this is being, we put that in on Saturday, I believe, when we put that in. So we got, so, so it's been three days. Three full days. And look, it's still standing, but do y'all notice anything else? Hey buddy, y'all notice anything else? The picnic table is still upright and it well, he had flipped that over and I just had flipped it back over and I know it's upside down and I gotta go fix that. But the hay ring, hey buddy, the hay ring is still there. So he hasn't done anything, he hasn't flipped anything around or nothing. And it's gotta be because of, hey buddy, yeah. It's gotta be because of your giant hairbrush. You're loving it, ain't you? Look at them gums, look at that, he don't have any front upper front teeth <laughs> oh gumby <laughs> all right let me get you guys fed 
But I wanted to show y'all the totem pole over yonder. So as most of y'all know, been following us, uh, we got Big Joe, and Joe is our male buck. And Big Joe is, like I said, intact, and he's always been sort of a hormonal mess. But here in the last week, it has really, really cranked up a notch and has gotten just overbearing. And so Joe has just been a total hormonal mess and it's just been aggravating to everybody over here. So we've been thinking about it and gosh, we really got, hang on Moody, I didn't fix the boys yet. I was, I was talking. And so he's, he's just been, he's just been a hormonal mess. Now, we talked to a friend of ours, uh, Laura at Simply Making It, who has Nubian goats. Here he comes back over here. Um, has Nubian goats and has several. Matter of fact, that's where Fifi and Capri came from. She does, you know, lots of goat milk soaps and been milking goats for years and knows all about them. She said right now is the worst time because this is Nubian breeding season. And, of course, he knows that. And that right now, and then for the next few months, he's going to be like he is right now. So we've come to a decision. We, we were having to make a decision. And the decision is, number one, should we rehome Joe? Um, and if we do that, then of course we won't have our own book. Because our future plans is to milk our own goats, then have our own goat milk here on the farm. And we got to have a buck to be able to do that. So if we rehome him, we won't have a buck anymore. Therefore, we either have to rent one or take our goats to somewhere that has one. So that's 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 option number one. Option number two is which which Laura told us. Go on, Joe. Go on, Joe. There you go, big moody. There you go, buddy. And that is to do like she did. She said that she ended up having to completely separate her buck away from everybody because it just got overbearing. So that is the decision we've come up with. We're gonna separate Joe for now because poor old Top, he can't get any rest or catch a break because of Joe. And of course now it's Moody, which he's never really done that with Moody at all. You know, we've had Moody for a year now, exactly a year. And Joe didn't do this to Moody last year. So it's just kind of crazy. So what I'm hoping is right now, is I'm hoping that Joe sees me feed top on this side and he comes over here, which he has been doing. He's looking at me. Now he's going back to Moody. If I can get him to come over here on this side, I'm gonna block him off. And then I can separate him and then we can start rearranging some stuff around here. But I gotta get him to see Topper. All right, here he comes. You guys know he was just missing with Nugget. That was it, only Nugget. In, in Topper, and so now it's moved on to Moody and Topper, and he's gotten just way worse. And you can see him trying to miss with Nugget now. Look this way, Joe. Now he's going back to Moody. So he didn't see, he didn't even pay attention to Topper over here. Topper hadn't been able to eat in peace because of Joe, and here it is, the day I really want him to come over here so I don't want Moody to get finished I want Joe to go see Topper maybe I can come over here and he sees Topper and runs over there I don't care if I separate them just want Moody out of the picture for now go ahead finish eating buddy it's okay finish eating go on Joe go on Joe Go on, Joe. All right, here he goes. All right, here he goes. That's what I wanted right there. 
All right, now maybe I can get him. All right, here we go, 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 go. Go in there, Joe, go in there, Joe. All right, so Topper came out. Dadgummit. Go on that way, Joe. Go on, Joe. Topper came out, and that's what messed it all up. Dadgummit. boy that wasn't that wasn't what I wanted to happen but I, I chased him and caught him and uh, I just kind of made him go in there <laughs> Whew. he's strong y'all that's a strong boy right there he's big too I don't think people realize how big a goat he is because the moon man being in here well, he's a big dude. Whew. Big dude. Gee. All right. Let me cut the fence back on. Shoo we y'all. I couldn't get all that on camera because they ain't had nobody here filming me, but whoo. Well, he's goat wrestling. That's some live action right there now. All right, fence plugged in. All right, I gotta get Joe some water. And then we're gonna regroup and see exactly what we need to do. Um, we got more of this fencing, so. All right, so I'm not leaving it like this. I want Moody and Topper to have access to the big, the big running uh, shelter back there in the back, which is huge. Plenty of room for all three of them. Definitely plenty of room for Topper and Moo Man. And then the Porta Hut, which is back there, which is also a pretty big shelter. Uh, three or four goats can stay in it easily. So what we're gonna do with it is move it to where we're gonna put Joe. We wanna keep Joe because we want our own buck. And there's several reasons why I really would rather have my own buck. You know, we could have, mainly because of um exposure that's number one i mean that's really the main reason is exposure convenience is another one but the main reason is exposure and what i mean by that is if we brought a buck in over here even if it's a friend of ours that we know and trust that buck could have something underlining that maybe they don't know about or maybe it's a parasite on their farm that their goats have gotten immune to or got a handle on that we don't have on our farm or vice versa our goats could have something that this underlining that we don't see and so that that's that's really the main reason is exposure exposing our goats to another outside goat we really would like to have a closed system if all possible and do our own thing for our animals safety and other animals safety. And that's why we're thinking about keeping Joe. High five, buddy. Do you see me wrestle him? I could have used your help. Yeah, I could have used your help. Now, let's try to figure out what we want to do. I do, we do, and you guys mentioned this before, and we're gonna try to do a video on this pretty soon once we get exactly where we want to put it. And that is our future barn. We have got, we got Brandon the Builder. He's coming back, y'all. We told him about the barn. He's got us on his books. But as everything, construction is so backed up right now that it's going to be February before ground breaks on the new barn. 
but that gives us time to figure out exactly what we want to do and exactly how we all wanted to lay out because we're wanting to move a good bit of our animals to the barn area where they'll have you know just it'll just be way better everything can be in one place we'll have a big barn we can store our feed and hay over there there'll be plenty of shelters we'll have a, a, a milking station uh, stalls so that's our big plans for the barn and possibly a large chicken coop where everything's in one place everybody can still mingle like they do here and all in all it'll just be better for the entire farm so that's our plans with the barn and we're starting to come up with ideas and what we want the barn to be the size of the barn and get that straightened out and then start planning out the new pastures over there because it's about man it's, it's a good bit more property on that side than it is on this side and we want to utilize all of it because that's why we bought the big farm you know is to have more room for us and our animals so we can start providing for both of us all right let's go take a look at uh big joe over here and figure out exactly how we want this new his new little pasture area to lay out until either his hormones calm down or we figure something else out you're sleeping hard ain't you baby yeah <laughs> so not only the water i'm gonna give joe some hay too if you guys know we still got those two smaller hay racks that are just sitting in with the uh the girl goats right now that's not being used because remember we swapped hay around and so moody and the boys have a giant hay ring and then we put the hay cradle the big hay cradle that holds around bell in with the girl goats and mildred so we got two empty basically goat hay feeders that will give big joe as well i'm thinking about narrowing this pasture a little bit because there's not much grass right now you know winter time's coming we do have a have an annual i mean a a, a perennial rye that comes up so they will have a little bit but i'm thinking about narrowing this pasture down let moody and topper have the big shelter over here narrowing this pasture down and giving joe this much pasture and maybe a little bit more over here and move the porta hut over to this side that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking jojo oh i'm gonna need help for this project so brooke is coming to help me she had to take mary carl this morning mary carl's getting braces y'all oh my gracious that is uh she's just growing up so darn fast my gracious it has been you know it's all it's so cliche you hear it all the time you know it just it just goes so fast and and it does you know on one hand it seems like their babies forever is so slow but then on the other hand it's not it's just like you look back and it's just like boom it's just whoo better start stop talking about it i'm gonna start getting choked up on you guys <laughs> Ooh, y'all, I got hot after after wrestling Crazy Joe. Oh, oh, Brooke may hose me down with a water hose when she smells me. <laughs> oh, if you don't know, man, a goat, a buck goat, just number one, they do number one just all over their cells. And that's just a way to try to swoon the ladies. Number two, they have a oily musk scent gland that they that they rub all over them and that's what gets on you and it's kind of like getting grease on you you know it's you have to really scrub to get it off and once that smell gets on you it stays on you for a little bit it's it's not unbearable it's not like getting sprayed by a skunk or anything it's more like i always compare it to way a ferret smells if you ever smelt a ferret it's not exactly like a buck but sort of kind of that's the only only way i can describe it all right for now i'm gonna give joe and clean this bucket out real good and give joe this bucket here for water until we get everything situated this will be temporary and we'll get in a bigger bucket all right 
got Joe some super clean water here. Now, now I have to see if I got the current turn the fence off. If I can get this over the fence without getting myself shopped. I think I can right here if I step on it with my boot. Let's see here. Yeah, I think we're good. There you go, Joe. There you go, Joe, Joe. There's you some water, buddy. There's you some water. Another reason we need to relocate Joe is because he is causing us to waste a lot of feed. Uh, yesterday, I fed, had to feed, it was three buckets of feed. I fed Moody some feed. Joe came over here, gets Moody all out of whack. And then next thing you know, the feed gets kicked over, strolled all over the ground. I don't like them eating off the ground. So I fixed Moody a second bowl. I try to stay over here and keep Joe away. Soon as I turned my back to get Joe and Topper's feed ready, it came back over there, caused Moody to kick the bucket over again. Second bucket of feed strode all over the ground. So I fixed a third bucket, stood over here the entire time and kept Joe away. And I can't do that every single day. Um, I just, that's, that's crazy. And so we don't need to be wasting that feed. I don't need them eating off the ground for our health sake and for the fact that we're, that we're wasting so much feed. That's another reason that we're just gonna be best for us to relocate Joe to the other pasture. All right, Jojo, we're trying to get you fixed up here. All right, Jojo, I had this nicely rolled up the way it was supposed to be, and somehow or another, it got out of whack. There it goes, okay, we got it. I think we got it, buddy. If you roll these things up properly, they come out pretty easy. I tell y'all, this Premier One fencing is a lifesaver. It is a life saver. I will leave a link down below for this Premier One fencing. Now this fencing here is made for large animals such as goats and cows and whatnot. Moody's looking at us like, Joe, you done got in big trouble, buddy. There we go. Now, we can take down the fence over here because we got Joe blocked off. And get the tractor in there and get that porta hut moved. All right, change of plans. I didn't think about it, but I can move the porta hood. Once I flip it upside down and it's on that slick side, it's kind of like a sled, and I can just move it with the beep beep or side by side. And I don't have to worry about getting a tractor or trying to put forks on it or anything. I think this is gonna work out good right here. All right, let's see if I can't flip this thing over. There we go. Now. There we go. There we go. We're getting your house ready, Jojo. Jojo house ready. There we go, Jojo. Get out of the weather now, especially the rain. We know you don't like the rain. I'm gonna put this fence back up 
and then we're gonna run this fence here that I got here down through here and that'll give Jojo a nice big area nice big area to stomp around in y'all I got Joe Joe fixed up it is roughly I know we got 165 foot 164 well, 164 foot and then it's a roughly 60 foot across the back I did the math that is 9,900 square foot so he's a hundred square foot shy of having 10,000 square foot back here which is plenty for that son of a gun now I got to get him on this side which well, shouldn't be hard all right, Jojo, let's see if we can't get you over here, buddy. Let's get you over here, buddy. Come on. He should come on in. There we go. Got him. Got him where we want him, y'all. Oh, goodness, I forgot to get the side-by-side -side out. What am I thinking? That was not smart, Jason. All right, let's leave this back open. Jojo, sometimes I don't think very well, and this is one of those times. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, go. Get back over here. We're going to lock you in for a second. I'm going to give you some water. Sorry about that, Joe. A little premature, wasn't it? All right. Let's regroup here. Let's regroup, Joe. Let me get the side-by-side -side out, then you can come over. Is that a deal? All right, got Joe's water and bucket and the chicken faucets right over there. So it'll be a straight line here. Shouldn't be no trouble getting water to there. Got his food bowl over here. Got to get his hay racks. Now, Joe, now let's get you over here. I was a little premature last time, buddy. I'm sorry about that. But now, come on. Come on, Joe. Here he comes. Come on, Joe. Come on. I just had you in here. My fault. It was my fault. Moody was my fault. I should have had my ducks in a row, and I, but didn't. All right, so Joe, Joe's good. Side by sides out, fixing the open Moody's gate here. All right, move man. There you go. There you go, Moody. You gonna go check out Joe? Hmm. You gonna check out Joe? He's over there. He's in his hut. You see that? He's in his hut. Now, see, Joe is not totally isolated at all, you guys. Hopper and Moody will be over here. And the only thing between them is just that little fence. Here we go. Only thing left to do now is just go cut the fence on. All right, full green. No issues. I think we're good, y'all. All right, so here are the hay feeders. I think I'm just gonna take one. I'm gonna cut those zip ties off and take one over to Joe over there and see how that works and if I see that he needs to, if he starts knocking it over and I need to, then we'll just add the other one on over there. Well, hello, babies. Hey, Miss Beautiful. Look at Paris. Isn't she gorgeous? Just gorgeous. Hey, Fifi. Hey, Mildred. Hey, baby girl. Everybody's here. Come to see me. Yeah. Come to see me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Goodness. You know, I was thinking, if we we're trying to figure out what we're going to do with joe if we keep him separated and we decide if we got another buck that means like if we wanted to breed pears we would have a buck to breed it with well that's right um 
But yeah, that's that's a ways off. But that's, that's just a, another option we have. Well, I was thinking two things. What's that? I was thinking I was so glad you waited on me. Uh huh. To move these hay feeders Why? because that would have required you to drive my tractor. <laughs> And I can tell by where it was parked that you hadn't been on it. I haven't been on it. I moved the porter hut with the side by side. Well, I'm thankful for that. Well, you'd probably be glad that I didn't drive your tractor because oh. it would smell like a book. Well, second thing is I'm glad that you moved Joe while I wasn't here. <laughs> and Moody told me he wanted to say something. What was that? He said he got his, you know, gotcha present. Yeah. Birthday present. Yeah. But he said, that he's thankful because for Thanksgiving, uh -huh. he got a present too. What's that? Joe got moved <laughs> away from him. <laughs> you know, not only did we move Joe because he was being aggravative, but you know, at some point, Moody could have got enough of it. For and, sure. And possibly headbutted him or were to kick him and hurt Joe then that would have had a vet bill and so this is a uh, this is this is working out better so I'm fixing to cut these hay feeders off and drag one over here and put it in the bucket of the truck bucket of the I truck I mean the <laughs> if you're gonna drive it you can let it be the truck <laughs> bucket of the tractor yeah turn this thing over that'd be the best way to get it ain't that right girl I'm gonna get some hay here for Jojo. That's pretty neat. Worked out well. It's almost 10,000 square foot. Well, he's got plenty of room. Plenty of room. All right, Jojo, got you some hay, buddy. He's been hanging out in that porter hut the whole time. Maybe I, I, I'm thinking maybe that's his new girlfriend. <laughs> he likes it, I can tell you that. So now he's set up. He's set he's up. He's got shelter, he's got clean water. I got his food bowl over here. And we got his hay over here. He's got plenty of room. His buddies can come visit him. It's that's all good. This will work well for a temporary solution. And hopefully he'll calm down about 10 or 12 notches for too long. Uh -huh. How's Topper doing? Oh, Top there's Topper. Topper's doing good. Topper's doing good. So Matter Topper of fact, Topper came all the way down here. Wow. Went down there behind Moody's, uh, or now shelter? Moody and Topper's shelter, yeah. and was eating leaves. How about that? He yeah. wouldn't have done that before. He wouldn't have done that before. Yeah, he my, just looks so sweet. He does, don't he? That's my buddy, Joe. He lives He's over in time here. out. <laughs> he got in trouble, didn't he? He's in time out. Well, I bet you won't find Topper doing that to, to Moody. <laughs> no. Topper's not going to aggravate you, easy baby. <laughs>